And residents of Techimang in the Bruno East region have been sharing with Joy News the highs and lows of the first term of the Kufuado led government. They also highlight unemployment and improvement in infrastructure as two key issues they would want the president to tackle in his second term. My colleague Anna Sabit has more in the following report. We hear the streets of uh, Kenten, a suburb of the Chiman, to inquire from residents here of uh, their assessment uh, for his first term, the highs and the lows, as well as their expectations of his second term in office. What I am excited about yeah, yeah, Nadu's first term is the introduction of the free senior high school. Because as parents, the free SHS is very important. Some of us have been heavily affected for lack of education, and so that policy is very important for uh, The president Akufuado, the first term, the free SHS is the most important policy under Nana Dudankwa Kufado's first tenor. But in terms of infrastructure, he failed the country a lot. Like I say, we see infrastructure, in fact, Udigan and Hemo. I am sure that is why Ghanaians voted against him during the 2020 general elections. But that for me is not the right thing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, Yes, sir. 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 Yes, uh, he will make a good idea for whilst they share with us some one or two things they felt went so positive about the first term of his excellence in Ado Danko Kufado. They however have some lows in relation to his first term. The the fine. As a driver, sometimes passengers complain of high low fares, but that is as a result of high fuel prices as well as cost of spares. So we are hoping that these things are taken care of this time around. In the first four years now, I'm going to go to the first like, yeah, what went wrong within the first four years is that as drivers, insurance has to be affordable for us. But that's not the case. So we will be pleased if that is considered in his next term. Going forward, what are their expectations in the second term of the Nana Dudanko Ekufado led government? The government needs to work towards providing jobs for the people. If that is done, there won't be insecurity in the country. I suggest government construct roads, hospitals, and other infrastructure projects that will help develop the country. That is what I think won't help in his second term. From the streets here in Techiman, in the Bono East region, my name is Anna Sabit, reporting for Joy News.